A little while ago, I got to have some alone time with Asus's new PG27 AQDP. What a name, a monitor sporting an insane 480 hertz refresh rate at 1440p. And as you can imagine, it's fast, really fast. In fact, this new monitor will without a doubt have the best motion clarity of any display money can buy. And I would say that includes the dual mode 4K240 slash 1080p 480Hz monitor, thanks to the higher resolution at that 480Hz. But many may be asking the question, is 480Hz actually worth it? Specifically, will this monitor be worth $999, a very, very steep price for a 1440p monitor in the year of our Lord, 2024? And in order to answer that question, first, we need to establish the main advantages a higher refresh rate can actually bring. And let's start off with one. Latency. A typical console game may be running at 60 FPS these days, if you're lucky, which comes in at a total latency of just roughly 16.7 milliseconds. Now, a typical PC monitor these days is capable of at least 144 hertz or roughly half the latency at just 6.9 milliseconds. This does come at the cost of double the performance roughly as well. So yeah, you're gonna need a much, much more powerful system and you're gonna have to spend a lot more money on that system to get that far lower latency, but it's gonna feel really, really nice. And for many, this reduction in latency is such a great experience and competitive advantage in online games that they opt for a 240 hertz monitor, which has just 4.16 milliseconds of latency, meaning a further 2.7 milliseconds reduction in that latency and as you can see this is where the diminishing returns begin to set in beyond this we do have 360 hertz options which have been available for some time reducing latency by roughly another 1.4 milliseconds to 2.8 milliseconds in total but now this tiny improvement comes at the cost of an additional 50 percent performance woo and finally we have the new Asus PG27AQDP at 480 hertz, bringing an insanely low 2.1 milliseconds of latency. However, this comes at the cost of another 33% performance over 360 hertz and is less than one millisecond faster. In fact, I don't think most gamers could even tell the latency difference of less than one millisecond as that is an unbelievably small difference. However, we do need to talk about point number two, motion performance, as this is definitely substantial and noticeable. As you can see, 120 hertz is overall, I'd say fairly blurry in motion still, even on an OLED, but at 240 hertz, that blur greatly disappears, allowing you to make out details on characters in motion and make better split second decisions on where to aim. This advantage is further improved at 360 hertz, but the blur is still noticeable. Only at 40 hertz I've found does it seem like motion blur is almost entirely eliminated in most tests, leading to insanely good motion clarity. In fact, it now almost resembles the example screenshot and all text in motion is very clearly visible. This level of performance that will be afforded by the PG27 AQDP is unmatched and may be the reason for some to part with a thousand big ones on this monitor. Now, that being said, overall is 480 hertz a waste? And I'd say yes and no. In terms of latency, yes, many would consider it a waste over 360 or maybe even 240, but in terms of motion performance, it's more complicated. Some may still consider it to be a waste, but many others would see this as a very worthwhile advantage and a large quality of life improvement worth buying for competitive games. Just be aware that Unlike 4K 240Hz, not only will this be GPU demanding, but you'll also need a monster CPU, and even the fastest ones on the market may be unable to power most of your games over 240Hz or 360Hz, so be sure to check out benchmarks of your hardware before pulling the trigger. But 
either way, I do think it is worth shooting for higher and higher refresh rates. I do believe the end game is somewhere around a thousand hertz for that near perfect motion performance. And there's really no downside as you don't have to run the maximum refresh rate at all times. And with that being said, if you are interested in picking one up, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below, assuming it's in stock which hopefully is when you're watching, as well as a link to my full review when it becomes available. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.